The idea of studying abroad is simply a fantasy of foreign languages, landscapes and love. While the notion of being able to experience these things might appeal to many, the daily realities of high foreign costs of living often keep study abroad dreams a flight of imagination. However, a whole range of short-term study abroad programs exist. Hello and welcome to another video and today we will be talking about short-term study abroad programs and you will get to know about all the things I am going to discuss about, the pros and cons, the important things to consider when choosing a program, program types and best countries to visit for short-term study abroad sessions. So stay tuned and don't forget to hit that bell icon for regular videos and updates. Let's begin. So first let's talk about choosing a program. While short term study abroad programs require significantly less amount of time, commitment, they often involve a more demanding class schedule with many offering crash courses in languages and cultural activities. While this type of learning may not be for everyone, you can check out the pros or the con list before considering a short term course. So now let's talk about the pros. Less time commitment compared to regular semesters abroad. It's lower total trip costs through savings and living expenses and food. And even earn course credit over a shorter period of time and a wide variety of courses are available. Then comes the cons. It's the less time to experience the foreign culture. Well, learning won't be as in-depth compared to semester-long classes. Not all courses offer academic credit and still need to ensure travel insurance and vaccinations are taken care of. Altogether, my friends, short-term courses are ideal for people who face time as a strong limitation and aren't scared of intensive schedules. It's really important for potential study abroad students to fully reach a course before selecting. That way, they can ensure they are going to be getting exactly what they want out of it. So now, let's talk about the important things to consider when choosing a program. Altogether, the decision to study abroad, even if only for a short time, is a significant one. There are five main things everyone should consider. Well, where you want to study abroad, quality of education, climate and culture all play a factor in this decision. Next comes what you want to learn about. Either it's the language, the community, development and culture are all popular short-term study abroad topics. But certain destinations may offer unique learning experiences such as calligraphy courses in China. Next we talk about is the academic credit. So just because a program offers the opportunity to study, it doesn't guarantee college or university credit. Then talking about activities and excursion. There are different activities and excursions that will happen throughout the study abroad experiences. These can range from helping to build schools for the local community to food and wine tasting tours to zip lining through the jungle. Once you find out exactly what you want to get out of a short-term study abroad experience, it can make the research process significantly easier and less intimidating. Next, we should talk about the program types. Well, there are many types of programs available. The first in the running is the university sponsor. There are many types of short-term study programs available. Some are offered directly through universities like Griffith and Cornell. These programs carry the advantage of guaranteeing academic credit for their completion but tend to be focused on academic and language learning more than the travel and culture. Next, we talk about the university partnerships. Alternatively, third parties like CEA work with international universities to set up global classes. These classes often combine classroom learning with day or weekend cultural trips. And next we speak about language schools. Finally, many language schools abroad run their own courses. 
As a result, courses don't offer college or university credit but instead offer flexible class schedules and the opportunity to take part in activities like wine tasting, kayaking or ceramic classes while abroad and learning the local language. These study abroad sessions would be ideal for people who may not be in school but are still interested in expanding their horizons. Many short-term volunteer abroad companies like the GVI also fall into this category. So let's speak about the best countries to visit for short-term study abroad sessions. While Western European countries have traditionally been popular study abroad destinations, most students are choosing different destinations for their studies, especially with the short-term trips. While studying in the Amazon for an entire year might seem daunting, a shorter two-week course can be less intimidating. So we're going to speak about a list of some of the top short-term study abroad programs across the globe. Number one is the SOI Education Abroad. With SOI Education, students have the opportunity to travel to Costa Rica, Argentina, Spain or Mexico. There, they have the opportunity to live in a homestay, go on country excursions, immerse themselves in the culture, all while completing courses to fit almost any degree. They have summer and winter break options, with courses lasting anywhere from one week to one month. Number two on our list is the Hutong School. You're wondering what you should do during the break between semesters? Take two or three weeks to fly to China and learn Chinese with the Hutong School. Students will be placed in small groups to get individualized attention with their language learning. After classes, program participants can partake in cooking classes, take calligraphy classes and exploring your host city of Beijing, Shanghai, Hangzhou or Chengdu. Third on our top list is the Green Program. So if you're passionate about sustainability and the environment, spend 10 days completing an overseas short-term program in Iceland, Peru or Japan. Students can learn about the renewable energy industry, sustainable water management and disaster mitigation. Fourth on our list is the API Abroad. So the API Abroad offers short-term, J-term and Maymester courses around the world including Spain, Cuba, Chile and Italy among the others. Also, taking an extensive language course, film studies or health sciences while learning in a unique international setting. In short, there isn't one best study abroad destination for everyone. Each location has something unique to offer and it's up to the traveler to determine exactly what they want to get out of their study abroad experiences short term or not. So this was all about short term study abroad programs. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye.